Hi, this is the last video of the Synthesize workflow series. Now, I'm going to explain to you the most common problems you're going to face with this workflow. Now, first problem is this. This wall is joined as a butt joint between this wall, which means this is stronger than this. And if you can notice here, it's not selecting this edge. In Dynamo, if we have, let me just reset everything. If we selected this, it will not select it. It will just leave this kind of small part opened and not selected, which is not very recommended. Let me just choose it like this. I will think that, okay, I've solved the problem, but no. Let's see what happens here. I run. And here's the results. So it's a huge error here. Be careful, it just squeezed this considering it another independent face. So the problem here needs a solve. The solve is basically just having the wall joints tool activated here with the miter joining. In the miter joining, I'll have this equals to this exactly. So in this case, I'll just select. So like this and this again, finish and run, and you can see how is this considered to be one face, or two actually, not three, let us say. So that's the solve of problem number one. Now, problem uh, number two, I believe it's obvious, they are not completely joined correctly, the Voronoi, I, been, I mean, the Voronoi grids, which needs a manual fixing after creating the adaptive components. That's a simple problem with a simple solve. Now, the problem number three. Problem number three is kind of ugly. Here's an example. I have... I've used noticed here, it, they just disappeared here. Okay, let's ignore that. Where comes the problem? It comes when having the adaptive... Oh, this is not here. When having the adaptive components. For example, let me just load the adapt here. And let us say I want to select this face again. Okay. And connect it to family types. Adapt this and run. Let's wait for them to regenerate themselves. Okay. Okay, here they are generated. So I decided to add this grid into that wall. Now clicking on this finish and let's run that and you will see that Revit regenerates those adaptive components on that curvy wall however it does let me just minimize this as soon as I can however it removes those, of course, these are errors that can be fixed manually. However, it removed those. Hmm, so that's not a good behavior. I wouldn't recommend actually using this workflow in this way. I would recommend you doing something. Saving a .dyn file in a desktop, for example. And you noticed I have saved it without the select face. That's what I want you to do. Save it without the select face had or existed. So, close Dynamo and you will see it's all clean. Let's open it again now. Now I will activate the select faces. I'll click on this one, finish, and then I'll click run. Oh, I have forgotten that I didn't add this yet, it's okay. Just add select face and then click run again.
Now. They are going to regenerate on this curve. As soon as they, they get generated, simply close it. And you will see that the grid is still here. Then reopen the saved file. You can select new faces without harming the old ones. That's the only way I figured solve this problem run oops again I forgot to connect this connected and run now again I'll have those grids those Voronoi grid running in that face and after running that I'll directly close this DYN file to keep it safe then reopen and continuing the process again and again and again. As you can see here, close, nope, it stayed, opening it again, and there you go, those are safe. That's the ugliest problem you may want to face, and you really don't want to like this problem. So hopefully, this series was helpful enough may open new opportunities for designing especially in fluid organic forms and applying the Voronoi pattern in the architectural design enjoy it